Hello sports lovers, welcome to Mess Sports TV. This is Africa's first choice online sports portal. Today's episode I want to talk about uh, football and boxing. I'll talk about the FIFA World Cup, the semi-final, and I'll talk about Teres Crawford versus David Avanesia. Then I'll also talk about Jerry Forrest versus Gerald Washington. Another fight I want to talk about is Josh Warrington versus Alberto Lopez. Then Teofimo Lopez versus Zoda Martin. So if you're interested in all these content, please do me a favor by subscribing to Mesports TV, which is Africa's first choice online sports portal, and also share on all other social media platforms so others can enjoy. Now let's take the intro and I will be back. Thank you for sticking glue to Africa's first choice online sports portal. Now let me start from Buck Crawford versus David Avanesia from Russia. This fight, Crawford was anticipating of fighting Errol the True Spence Jr. just about this time, but speedy recovery to Errol the Spence Jr. He has been involved in another car accident. It's not a serious one. I hope it doesn't put his fight with Keith Thurman in jeopardy. But let, let me return to Crawford. Crawford started this fight in an octodos position where he read David. Then he later switched to uh, Southpaw where, he's, where, where he boxed the whole fight. David seems to be coming on with a, with a very high guard. He was aware of the power and the talent of Crawford and Crawford showed he is a superior talent and the way he started setting David up right from round three was so fantastic and David fell for it. David landed a couple of hooks that, that got Crawford angry and he returned and Crawford was able to keep David at bay with the jab or stay busy hand combination and he ha having the, the reach advantage he kept David at bay. I think what it was in the third and fourth round before he started pressuring him. And in the fifth round going, you knew that the setup was ready. And in the, and in the sixth, Bob Crawford ended the fight in a fantastic manner. And he has, and since then, he, or since moving to the water with division, he has recorded 100% knockout rate in the, in the uh, water weight division. Now, let me talk about football. We are into the semi-final of the FIFA World Cup. Brazil were knocked out by Croatia. That particular match was a very good one. The goals came in late. Neymar, Neymar was fantastic on the night, but I don't know why Neymar did not start taking the pen because he, he is one of the best. And if you are, what I know is that when you're about to have a dance with Destiny, you have to put your best foot forward. So I think Tete or Coach Tete should have started the, 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 the penalty kick with the men he trusted them to deliver. I don't think the perception of putting your best penalty taker at number five is the best in this modern era because football has grown and football has been dynamic. It might not get to the fifth or best person. So let the best person or the best penalty taker start the, taking the penalty. And the a young, young lad Rodrigo missed for Brazil. And I think it's, he, he has been taking penalties for Real Madrid, but this is the World Cup. And it comes with a lot of pressure, especially when you are playing for Brazil national team. There is so much expected of you. And Rodrigo is a talent. And he can do more for the national team if they just trust him and keep his senses in the, in the right place. I think Rodrigo can go on to do a lot for the Brazil national team. Then um, the second semi-final, a uh, quarter-final match was between um, Argentina versus Netherlands. It was a, dram a dramatic, it was a dramatic match. Uh, Messi got very, very emotional, the penalties and a lot of things. Uh, they led 2 0 with Netherlands coming back after it went to a penalty shootout, and Netherlands were beaten on penalty shootouts. Captain Van Dyke missed, uh, I, I don't know, but 
the Netherlands did not look like they, they had prepared for the penalty shootout, which is shocking off a Louis Van Gaal team. But it's football. The Argentines were pushing harder and they deserve it. Messi has worked so hard, has worked his heart off to get to the final of this competition. So I think the Argentines deserve to be, to be at this level more than the, more than the Dutch national team. Now, this, this, the day two of the quarterfinal was between the Atlas Lions of Morocco and Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo did not start that particular match. Gomez started, but the organization of the Moroccan national team is, is the best in this tournament. They have considered one goal, which is even an own goal. This this is how world champions win. And the way Morocco is going, this is a, a, this is how world champions win their title. Remember uh, Germany and the likes, they don't concede a lot of goals. They are able to absorb pressure when they come and it, and they are able to score when they go on the offensive. Uh, Morocco may not be scoring enough goals, but on the on the defensive line, you could see that they've been coached, they've been disciplined, and they are well organized at the back. So it's very difficult to break the Moroccan national team. So I think the Moroc the Moroccan national team can go all the way to win the World Cup. Yes, take it from me. The Moroccan national team, the way they organize, the way they play, they don't concede, but are able to offer an offense of their own i think they can go all the way to meet the world cup and talking of the world cup i i in my humble opinion i think two countries that were not favorite from the beginning may end up at the world cup final that is Croatia versus morocco now uh, they had the, the second semi-final or quarter final game was between the Le Blues of France and the Three Lions. The Three Lions played their hearts out in the second half, but Giroud and his team had other other plans. Captain Hurricane missed a penalty, and and it's very painful being the leader, being the number one guy, having carried your team to the World Cup. Hurricane has not scored the goals expected of him, but he has played quite well at this tournament in my humble opinion he has contributed not just scoring but coming back and drawing defenders forward for others to run behind and score so i think uh, the english national team have done themselves well but i think as time gareth Gary southgate leaves the national team i think his record looks good on paper but anytime he comes against against that top here opposition he fumbles and he cracked um, tournament let me give you another a tournament 2014 belgium the euros italy now france so he's able he's able to perform but when you need to step up to the above a level the elite of the elite the upper echelon gareth southgate is unable to deliver for the three lions that's why they are going home but they have done themselves good in this particular world cup and i like the way they played uh, with so much conviction and wanting to win shockingly harry maguire was was a better version of he, of the one that plays for manchester united and now let me talk about another fight teofimo lopez Teofimo Lopez had a split decision win, which a lot of people think it was because he was the home fighter. If he hadn't been the home fighter, Martin would have taken the victory. And this is what boxing is a subjective. So sometimes you don't, or it's very difficult to talk about some of the close rounds. But it seems all the close rounds went to Lopez. If not, he would have lost the fight. I personally think Zoda won the fight out uh, or if if the worst case scenario this fight should have been a draw teofimo lopez had no answer to the right hook and this shows that teofimo lopez the level he has gotten to as a boxer 
has surpassed the knowledge of his father as time Teofimo Lopez employs another trainer to help his father or his father assist that trainer there was this guy Joey and his corner Joey the trainer of heavyweights um, Otu Allen after the after the Lomachenko fight they had an issue and the split up so I think if he has still been maintained in the camp he would have given second thoughts and he helped Teofimo in that particular Lomachenko fight and since then we don't know what has happened but Teofimo Lopez needs to employ another another trainer he has outgrown his level has outgrown that of his father and the fight did not make him look good though a win is a win you then you move on to the next one then josh warrington josh warrington versus alberto lopez george washington versus alberto lopez was a good fight it was action but i think lopez was complaining too much though josh josh War, War, warrington was coming in with his head he was leaning in with his head which later or in the first or second round got his nose busted uh i i think it was a fair decision a lot of people did not anticipate lopez would win because he being that way fighter it's very difficult for them to score cool, close runs to him but he being that way fighter and winning that that means that he did his utmost best the fight i did not get to watch fully but i've seen the highlight is jerry forrest and gerald anderson gerald anderson made easy work of jerry forrest nobody does that to jerry forrest nobody nobody does that even the likes of josh uh, gerald washington were not able to do that to jerry forrest and the young man he is looking like a superior talent he uh more than the likes of daniel dubois and whoever's name you can mention gerald washington looks to be the one who is stepping up in opposition and delivering knockout after knockout and that is good for him uh, i think he would be the next flagship fighter for top rank if tyson fury fades away they would then project jerry washington uh, anderson to the next level and he calls himself the big baby and he is showing that he is a better and he has also called out dillian the body snatcher white and has also called out big baby miller so let's see if he's able to go get all these fights but i don't think he would get the the dillian white fight because it's not much of a commercial value unless the uh, white loses to someone like anthony joshua then his stocks comes down then jerry forrest is able to use him as a step up fight that will catapult him to the next level so this is these are all i want to talk about i'm wishing morocco would win this particular world cup and i'm wishing errol spencer speedy recovery i hope this accident does not jeopardize the fight with Keith Thurman, before I forget, Manny Pacquiao was involved in the fight in Korea against DYO. DYO was carried throughout the fight by the referee. Manny Pacquiao wanted to knock him out, out and wanted to hit him, but the referee could give DYO about 30 seconds standing count and goes consult with the commission and all those stuff. But it was, a, as it termed it, a special boxing match. So. We are not angry. It was a good fight. Manny Pacquiao says he wants to fight Errol Spence and Buck Crawford. Stay out of the ring, Manny. Do you have no business coming back into the ring with this young Lions? He's, Manny Pacquiao is almost 44, if I can remember. Oh, yeah. He's almost 44 years. So he should stay out of the ring. These guys are hungry and they will use him to propel their career so these are all i have for this particular episode stay positive remember there is no limit to greatness this is africa's first choice online sports portal subscribe share and like thank you au revoir bye bye